Hello everyone, it's Friday again, you made it, we made it, we're here again like we usually every Friday and today we will do the parenting talk. We yes. want to talk about when is the good time to start teaching your kids how to save money and how to start and when is it a good time to start. Yeah. And this is only for little ones, so we will focus on the younger kids. But if you have teenagers and you are interested in getting some tips about how to talk about money to your teenager, write down teenager in, in the comments and let us know because we are planning to make a separate video for you. Only for you, for the parents of teenagers. Yeah. But if you are here, stay here because we will share very general knowledge that can be useful for you. For if you are a grandparent, also it's very useful. So you can use these tips whenever you want. <laughs> yes. So the main question, when is the good time to start teaching your kids how to save money? So the answer is yesterday yesterday <laughs> if you didn't start yesterday so today is the best day to start today is your deadline yes. so how you uh, when you start is right now and if your kid doesn't know how to talk very well now and doesn't understand words you still can teach your kid how to save money how with the example and we know as parents that our kids copy everything we do. So start turning off the lights every time you leave the room or start turning off the water when, when you are not using it, when you are washing dishes. The kids see this and they will start copying and maybe they will not understand why yet you do all this crazy stuff. <laughs> but when they start getting uh, more vocabulary and they uh, understand words then you explain why you do these things so then the the time of when is all the why questions if your kid is asking why 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 all the time like ours <laughs> <laughs> that's the perfect time to explain them why you do what you do yes just make sure that while you explain them you're not going to be attaching to the explanation any feelings any previous bad thoughts about money to their explanation so you don't want to be putting in their little heads what maybe your parents or your surrounding put in your head when you were little so we're trying to avoid it and um, we've focus been... on the process yes. not on your feelings about it that's right. And if you already are a student of our Mind Your Money, Mind Your Life class, you already know what we mean. That we have limiting beliefs, that we have all these beliefs that we were programmed when we were kids, and we want to avoid transferring these feelings, these limiting beliefs to our kids. So we focus on the process, not on what we feel. And the second thing is to be very, very simple. Don't go too hard with the taxes or <laughs> trying to explain mortgages <laughs> like that. Yeah. Well, we, we uh, try. <laughs> <laughs> we try anyway. But just start simple about the process of how the money works. So if you want to give an example or maybe after. Uh, yeah, let's say... If, uh, if you go and brush your teeth and you there with your daughter, with your son, and you run the water, you shut off the water and you can explain them. You don't over waste water because, not because uh, some people say, I work so hard, money doesn't grow on trees, we have to save because we have payments to make, because kids probably not gonna follow you where you're going with that. Yeah, so. that's the thing that every time your kid asks you why, let's say you turn off the light and you always say, if you leave the washroom, turn off the light right now. 
or you forgot to turn off the light or why you you're uh, in the bedroom the light is on you are not there and the kid will say why do i have to do this <laughs> why mama yeah. why so it will be more like a chore for them mm -hmm. something they they're gonna start pushing away because you just tell them every day and every time that's what was happening when i was a kid my father he was very good on saving but not greatest on explaining so it was always turn off the light turn off the light okay and you just get frustrated and you just leave it on just on purpose okay <laughs> enough <laughs> i had <laughs> i had enough of that so by explaining and by let's say saying hey if you turn off the water and you're not gonna waste too much will this money that we'll be able to save by not wasting water we can do something fun with this money maybe end of the week or end of the month so we can save this much money let's say for example you can save when you bill 20 dollars and you can say hey so we can go to the park some fun luna park or, or something like that and by explaining them that that you you kind of will bring some more fun into it mm -hmm. some anticipation for the kid which we think it's a great thing to have when because in our days kids they just i want i get and this is a very bad way to show your kids how life works because then even when they grown up and there's tons of debt on their heads mm -hmm. and it will be like okay but i want it so i'm gonna get it now so we want to avoid that and by give them anticipation for something i think this is a great way to yeah and the kid will be motivated to Follow that's right the, yeah it's not gonna advice. be a bad chore like oh again <laughs> and it's not that they had to follow you just because it's because there is a reason and kids don't uh, underestimate your kid they learn everything you can teach them they they understand things like we are very surprised with our daughter that she gets everything so quick it's like understanding things that we were thinking okay she will not understand the things she get it why because we take the time to let her know why why the reason of what we why we do things like this and please take time i know kids just ask why 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 all the time and you get like enough but we we see with our daughter that when we teach her why at as soon as she ask ask us the first time and she says why mama why i had to turn off the water while i brush my teeth why not let it run and we explain her the process not our feelings about it the process of how we save the money and how we can have that money for other things then she understand it and then the next time she asks the same because they will ask you <laughs> why again instead of explaining that again you say do you remember when i told you and then they kind of start remembering and then they answer themselves and then you're like ah oh, i'm the best part <laughs> <laughs> let them do the hard work of yeah. explaining themselves they're explaining by themselves and it's getting stuck in their mind and that's how you program the mind of your kid by repeating they will repeat it repeat it repeat it and then it will become a behavior so they will understand that's the thing kids need to understand why and the other thing is not to attach your emotions uh, about money about nothing none of your uh, program beliefs that you have since you are a kid are helpful here let's say we have heard many words many <laughs> phrases many things like uh, uh, because i i work so hard for to pay the bills no don't say that because then you are putting all this uh, anxiety frustration shame. Like, you, sh yes shame. Like, you you shouldn't transfer these bad emotions to your kids one phrase that i love that is very funny that i think i heard it from my parents too and other parents 
that you said, do you think I go to the washroom and I come out rich? Do you think I poop money? <laughs> so that's probably coming from your parents, knowing them. <laughs> and then it's like, it's not helping because you put some thoughts in your kids that are not um, helping any way to solve any problem or to generate any behavior. They just thoughts that shouldn't be in your mind and when they grow up they will thank you and we will not mess up our kids that much hopefully <laughs> <laughs> so this way we 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 will contribute to their growth and not to mess them up with all these weird beliefs the about <laughs> yeah and please make sure to follow the same system because kids they repeat a lot so if you're not going to turn off the light when you leave the bedroom, mm -hmm. if you're not going to turn off the water, they'll say, well, you've been explaining me all that, but you're still behaving in other way. So you need to make sure you're following the same rules uh, because when they're very young, when they're small, most of the things they just follow in what you do. Yeah. And that's how kids grow in everything. And so you want to make sure that they're going to get used to this habit and our daughter, she's almost five, so now we start telling her, and sometimes on purpose doing it, make sure that you tell us to turn off the light or the water if we forget. So then sometimes on purpose I'll forget and she comes running, Papa, go back to the room, you didn't turn off the light. So you make it fun for them and you make them control that a little bit and look after that. And they love the challenge. Yes, <laughs> to both the parents around, this is uh, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and every time you have an opportunity to teach about money, do it and add a little bit of information every time. Don't put all the information right away and oh, okay, today let's sit and we will talk about money. Accounting. Yes. yes. <laughs> Just every time you have an opportunity, you add a little bit more information. Like as Val said, explain how the saving process, process uh, goes. If you uh, save $1 every day, how much money you will have at the end. And then you create this self-discipline because they will have a motivation, they have a vision. Since they are like four years old, they already know what is a vision without you explaining them what is a vision or what is a goal. You just tell them, oh, you know how, how the saving process go? Okay, you save, you save, you save, and at the end of this amount of days, you will have this much. Let's try it. And then you create the challenge for them. So that's the thing. And other thing that we always try to include in our teaching to our daughter is that we had to be grateful for what we have right now. Yes, very important. So, yeah, we always tell her about how we grew up, how was our childhood, not with the shame again, not saying, oh, you have this beautiful clothes with brand name. And I didn't, no, we say, when I was a kid like you, I, I had this and my parents did this for me. And now we are grown ups and we are doing this for you. Like try to always create a story with a process without adding your feelings and emotions and all these unfulfilled emotions you have from the past. Don't try to avoid them and always teach them that they, they need to be grateful for what they have show them um, like we always show documentaries and like uh, videos about other people in other countries when we travel we try to show her um, other kids or their families whenever we have an opportunity we show we show the world to to her so then she will understand that what she has right now is she should be grateful yes. for it and whatever we do to get the money is she should be also grateful for the work for the time we we spend on trying to get this money and then she will save it 
and be conscious. Yeah, and I'm thinking if if you're suffering from things that most of parents suffering from when you go in to buy food and in this usually in the big stores they always have aisle for kids with toys. Yeah. And if your kids just running around like a madman and just are grabbing all the toys and crying cannot leave the store, this approach will help you avoid that. Because we, we tried this approach on our daughter and it worked for us perfectly. When we go with her, we explain her that this costs this much money. If we save on things like, again, the simple stuff, running water or light, or if we're not gonna spend on that cake right now, then at the end of the month, we'll save this much money, so then we'll be able to buy you that. So then instead of running every week when you go into a store and your kid go bananas about all the toys there, they will start building anticipation. They will start waiting for it. They will want it and they will, it will create for them like a game that they will enjoy. And instead of suffering, no, oh, no, I have to save, this is horrible. They will enjoy the process. They will bother you less by all this craziness, grabbing toys and you embarrassed standing there. Oh, that's not my kid, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is yeah. that kid your coffee? <laughs> yeah. So you can avoid all of that and your kid will be happier and you will be happier because your life will be a little bit more calm because there's enough craziness out there for all yeah. of us. So I think this is also a great thing. It's just, it will make your kid more patient it will teach your kid how to wait for things and not just right in the moment I want it, I get it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and then you'll be able to save some money. And this thing gonna grow with them for life. They will get used to it, it will be normal. It's not like suddenly 20 years old and you tell them, okay, well, you need to save now. You're out of our house and they, they're clueless what is going on. Because they what don't have, saving? yeah, what they don't saving? have any like routine. Yeah. So this will build a routine inside of them without you teaching them like something crazy and drastic. It just will be as normal. Yeah, and one thing that will be for next video or the video after we will see how many teenagers are here and how many parents need help. So maybe we should do the next video about that. So remember to write teenager and we will see if you really want to hear about how to teach your kids about money? Yes, we'll definitely yeah. do a video about that. We have and some good tips as well. Yeah, and the other thing is that we learn a lot from our parents. We we didn't get this from like suddenly we became oh fell on our head. Oh, saving! We know exactly what to do. <laughs> <laughs> we learned this from our parents. He learned a lot about saving, uh, thanks to his parents, and I learned about job about work about that you had to do something to get money and i i had a job since i was little at home i never had these allowances and free money i always <laughs> had did to not know what is that <laughs> i always had to to do a service for our community that was our family and then i will get a reward that's how my parents help me to understand how the system works. So if you are interested also, we can share with you what we did and what we are doing with our daughter about job, about how the process of payments go and, and all of that fun stuff because don't underestimate your kid. They're smarter than they look. <laughs> <laughs> They, they will learn and if you put the attention and the time to teach them, they will absorb everything and they will get everything that they need to know and they will pay attention and they will enjoy the process. So I hope you like this video. Remember to write down teenager if you want to <laughs> see the That's next right. video about how to teach your kids teenager kids the world money and thank you so much for your time hopefully you have a very nice weekend yes, enjoy your weekend have a drink teach your kids how to save some money and we'll see you next weekend bye bye bye